Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. I love summer. I love everything about summer. Summer is coming. I love the heat, the humidity. I love to get a tan. I used to love wearing bathing suits. I love that just a little bit less at this age than I did when I was younger. But one of my favorite things to wear is flip-flops. So we're going to make flip-flop coasters today. Today we're making the flip-flop coasters and what I did is I cut them out of wood and I sanded the edges. I like to make things out of wood because I think it's fun but remember you can get a very similar effect and you don't have to work with any kind of woodworking tools if you wanted to make it out of cork. And if you want to know how to make cork coasters um, I have two examples. I have the shamrock coasters and the Pilgrim coasters, which are great examples of cork coasters that you can easily make um, in the shape of a flip-flop. So I cut these out and now I'm going to paint them. And I'm going to paint both sides and the very first thing I'm going to do is just give it a base coat of white so everything will just be sealed and, and we won't have to worry about it and any colors will show up very nicely. And I'm going to go with some kind of vibrant colors because I'm thinking beachy flip-flop but you can always do like a washed out distressed kind of flip-flop look if you wanted to do that too or you could stain them with wood stain and all I used was quarter inch plywood and I'll have the saw that I use down in the description as well as the rotary tool that I use in case you wanted to give it a try or in case you were in the market to look for either one of those. <laughs> So I drew a band and now I'm just going to take a pencil and draw it on here. Now we're going to add some glitter and you want to get a good glue whether you it's the ultimate glue or weld bond whatever glue you want to use is fine. Take it on your brush and then you want to go over, let's start with this one, and put a nice coat on there but you don't want it super thick because you don't want it to get in the way and create a lump where then your glass will fall over. So we, we want it to be thin but you want it to be neat. Then you want to sprinkle your glitter right on there. And you want to tap it down then you can shake off any of the excess. Now you have a cool flip-flop with a glitter band. finished and I think they're really super cute. You can spray them with a finish and I would suggest spraying it over brushing anything on it because if you brush anything on it you're likely to um, dislodge some of the glitter. So I would suggest spraying if you have a triple thick spray that would work. Um, it is going to make it shiny. The satin would probably work pretty well too. And be sure to tell me which one is your favorite in the comments below. We've got the striped one with the silver and it's like white and like a I don't know, kind of a seafoamy green. 
We got the pink and the green, and we got the pink glitter. We got the blue with the stenciled flowers, and then we got the purple and the orange. All fun, all beachy. And the backs are plain, but you could certainly do something on the back if you wanted to, too. You could just leave a, put a message on there, too. I was just thinking these would be super fun if you had like a beach-themed wedding. You could even have them on a stand with the back showing initially with the names and the table numbers on the back. And then here's the front, and people can take it home as a favor and use it as a coaster in their home forever. Hope you guys enjoyed the flip-flop coasters as much as I did. Be sure to let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. And remember, if you're struggling with your creativity and feel like you've got a block, I have a book out and it's 75 ways to unleash your creativity. You get the book, the workbook, and a couple of printables that you can use for a craft project. I will have a link to that down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.